Hi everyone, it's Lee from Gnome and Backyard, and I have been wanting to make a bunny butt sign all season long. So I found this cute sign from the Dollar Tree, and then I took these pink bunny Easter eggs also from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take and split them in half, and we are going to use the side that has the ears. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am taking my cashew colored chalk paint and I am giving my bunny two coats. Look how pretty that looks. He's no longer that silly pink bunny, but he's this pretty elegant cashew colored bunny. Now I'm gonna take some pom-poms from Hobby Lobby and I am going to glue one to the very back of him as his tail. Now you can use a button, you can use a wooden bead, you can use whatever you choose for your tails. But I had these tan colored pom-poms and I thought they were gonna be just perfect. So the next item that I'm going to use is also from the Dollar Tree and it is these powder candy carrots. You get eight in a pack as you can see, I only have one left, but if you do open them up, if you're going to use them, you're gonna open them up and you are going to dump out the candy powder in them. And then we are going to actually take and cut the carrot part in half. We are not using the green top. So I just cut my carrot in half and I actually only need one of these candy carrots for my project. I am then also taking some Waverly orange chalk paint and I am giving my carrots two coats. Now I know they were already orange in color, but I wanted them to have a muted orange color to them. I didn't want them to be shiny. Now I'm taking some leaves and greenery from a floral arrangement from the Dollar Tree that I had in my stash and I am just going to hot glue them into the top of the carrot on the inside. Now again if you have the cute little carrots that are already uh, fully assembled from the Dollar Tree, you can use those. I just happened to see these powder candy carrots and thought they'd be fun to do a craft with. So now I am just going to line up my three bunnies and my two carrots. Bunny, carrot, bunny, carrot, bunny, carrot. I know you can't see the full frame in this shot, but I will show you a finished picture at the end. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hot glue and I am going to put a really good amount on the ears because that part will be sticking to the sign the best. You can also use a super glue, instant glue, or your E6000. Doing the same thing with my carrots, I put most of my glue up at the top because I knew that would hold best to my sign. And I'm just gluing them in where I want them. Now, this sign is really pretty as is. It's clean, it's clear. If you wanna leave your sign like this, go right ahead. I decided to take and use some Spanish moss at the bottom of my sign. So all I'm doing is running a hefty bead of hot glue across the bottom of my sign and placing in my Spanish moss. Now we're gonna give it a quick little haircut. You guys, I am absolutely loving this sign and I really think you will too if you get the chance to craft one up for yourself. Thank you so much for continuing to sprinkle all of Gnome and Backyards videos, and we truly hope you have a wonderful Easter season.